and welcome again to AA Home Garden, guys. My beautiful alpine strawberries, guys. This is a wild strawberry. Look at the size leaf, guys. Yes, these are tinier than the normal strawberries, but guys, this, the flavor is so intense on these. So these are the ones that grows in the wild, guys. They are not as fat and bulky as the ones that you're used to in the supermarket. But look at that. Look, this is just one look at strawberry here. And look how it has spread. Guys, this part of the strawberry fruited all through winter. So these can be used as a crop, grown crop as well to keep away weed because they just spread and spread and spread. So I have loads in my garden, guys. But this particular one decided to pop up just in the slab in the greenhouse so i've been here from last year and it's just spreading and i'm not going to disturb it because it's like out of the main section that i'm planting so it's not taking away any space but guys just like you use normal strawberries to make your jam or your sauces or things like that or you just come in the garden and you snack on these beauties so yes guys you're gonna need a load like you need to probably harvest four or six at a time to put in your mouth to taste it because they're so tiny guys but they're so nice the first time i taste these i was blown away guys it's like the way to describe it yes it's like you know when you get a good strawberry you know sometimes you get a good strawberry multiply that by 100 it, it, the taste is just in okay so this is the wild strawberry alpine they do sell them but they're not popular in the shop you probably have to know someone some of these wild strawberry produce runners I've seen some produce runners and some don't produce runners I'm not an expert on these wild strawberries I don't know what's the difference between the ones that produces runners and the one that don't but they just produce a lot guys if you notice it just so much strawberries from this one plant and guys it doesn't require any care i mean it's been here from last year and i haven't fed it i haven't done anything to it and you can see it's just in this slab i don't know where it's getting the guru just gone down and getting some soil and just surviving there but yes do let me know if you're familiar with alpine strawberries do you think it tastes different from the normal strawberries do you like it do let me know in the comment section guys but i think the best way to sample these is just a snack fresh from the plant you won't get these in supermarket no you only will get the normal strawberries in supermarket you have to know somebody who has it so you can come and sample it or you can buy the plants online but you won't find them in the supermarket so yes this is one of my many wild strawberries in my garden so from my garden to yours my beautiful wild strawberry yes guys i'm now in my front garden and there's wild strawberry everywhere the thing is guys i had a one wild strawberry here last year in a pot <laughs> and you can see the runner went out and then the strawberries are everywhere and the thing is i need to come and tidy up my front garden because it's almost time for the pumpkins but as you can see, there's strawberries everywhere. So I'll be selling these wild strawberries as well, guys. So if you look on Esty, you will see these wild strawberries. These alpine strawberry guys, they are delicious. They are super sweet. They are tiny. So I know you're going to put loads more in the mouth at any one time. But it's definitely worth it. These strawberries are delicious, guys. If you haven't had wild strawberry, go out get yourself some wild strawberry guys they are delicious and they're this part of the garden and they're over they're just scattered all over guys so I have to be careful all I'm walking because I don't want to damage all the strawberries so all of here we're gonna dig them up and sell them because I need to come and tie up the front garden and I don't want to just get rid of them so I'm gonna dig them up and sell them on this my little lad will be selling these and it's gonna be his pocket money for his toys so guys if you want to go over to Esty, my Etsy store get some strawberries you'll be supporting my little lad in buying his toys so this is his little um, plants that he'll be digging up 
and saving and selling them to buy his toys so yes guys wild strawberry growing in my garden front back in pots everywhere I'll show you one in pot going on this was a container where it was drying out so quickly last summer so it's one of the little apple plant that I have so I put some wild strawberry in there to, to provide cover cover crop for this year so I'm using the wild strawberries as well I just need to come and take all these grass that is everywhere but I'm using them as well for cover crop and that's one of the thing I'm doing for part of the garden I use them for cover crop in the um, in the winter time so the rest of the annoying weeds are suppressed so yes guys you can use wild strawberry for loads of things so from my strawberry patch wild strawberry alpine to your garden take care now and i'll see you on the next upload bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell